Sports to the Bone family, can someone please tell me what happened just now? What went down? I, I didn't get a chance to see it in its entirety, but I saw bits and pieces of the game. And we were defeated heavily. So this is one of those videos where I'm going to say, go in the comment section and explain as much as possible so I can hear exactly how things went. Anyways, for those who did not watch the game or didn't get a chance or you have haven't gotten a chance to see the scores, I'm going to go through the scorecard for you guys. I saw some of uh, some of our bowling, you know, the latter part, and I saw some of the initial uh, and in the middle stage of our batting. So I'll be able to speak about what I what I would have seen. You know, the way in which a couple of the guys got out, I wasn't able to see all of that. So once again, the comment section is going to be open so you can just go ahead and explain away how is it that we were blown away by india in no time all right so the first of five t20 games um we would have seen the return of guyanese middle order batsman shimran hitmaya and uh kimo paul alongside jason holder returning to the team odin smith also returned to the team and it was expected that we were going to put on a good show. India batted first and they got 190 for six. Yes, man, 190 for six is what they got. And I saw the last, I saw, you know, the early stage of their innings, but I actually saw the last two to three overs. And, um, you know, Obed McCoy's last over went for some runs. You know, um, <clears throat> I, I don't want to say that they really pummeled him or anything like that. A couple of them took edges. And Jason Hola had a, 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 an expensive, I think he bowled a 19 over if I'm not mistaken also. So, you know, we, we, we definitely dropped the ball at one point in time. It seems as if we we're going to be able to contain them, hold them for about 175 there about. But the last couple of overs weren't um, too good. I am not sure if we dropped any catches or anything like that, as I said. But, you know, um, 190 probably would have been too much for us with that India bowling lineup. So um, in terms of the batting for India, it was Roy Sharma. Oh, how could I forget? Alzari Joseph finally got his opportunity. My viewers and subscribers picked up a couple of wickets. It was a bit on the expensive side. Though. I think he had uh, four overs for 46 runs, picked up two wickets. It was Roy Sharma that led um, the way 64 from 44. And in the last part there, Dinesh Kartik, who is, you know, definitely doing everything to make sure that he secures himself in that squad or on the plane to, to Australia, to the World Cup. You know, he, he, we see in the IPL where he's doing extremely well, um, playing finishing role, and apparently they want to give him that same role here in India. No, he made 41 from 19. Yes, you heard me right. 41 from 19 to lead the way. And the bowling figures, Obed Makai, four overs, 30 runs, one wicket. So the last two overs that he bowled, um, sort of went for some runs. Jason Hola, four overs, 50 runs, one wicket. So Jason Hola was on the expensive side also. Um, I would have indicated, not looking at any excuses or anything, but I would, I would have indicated from the, the, the last ODI that, you know, it didn't look too fit to me. You know, it didn't seem as if he's too fit. And we see the no ball is your creeping in. That is usually when you're not fit and under pressure and trying to either strive for pace or, or, or whatever, you know, but... He, he, he didn't do too well. Akil Hussein had his four overs for 14 runs, one wicket. So Akil Hussein was brilliant. He was tremendous. He was brilliant. You understand? Alzari, as I said, um, got two for 46. Odin Smith, two overs, 18 runs. Right? Two overs, 18 runs, no wicket. Kimo Paul, two overs, 24 runs, one wicket. So those were the bowlers. Now, based on when I was watching the game, you know, I saw a couple of things that I didn't really understand, especially, I think it was in the 19th over, the 18th over, um, I saw where the captain, Nicholas Poran, had about five feelers in the circle and, and nobody, on the, you know, necessarily on the bounce, especially in the offside. Jason Hola was bowling and he had everybody, basically everybody in the circle and, and Jason Hola went, I think he was going um, around the wicket. Put the ball outside the man half stump and Carty just carved it over the infield for four. And I was wondering, how is it that you are bowling, you are, you, you, you are all the way down in the death overs and you're sitting in the field like that? 
I don't know if anybody else saw it, but as I said, I was on and off the game and I caught that part and I was wondering if this man lick him head. You know, but the seeing a man like, like Jason Hola being the cap being a former captain and a bowler should be saying to the captain, say, Alright, skip. I don't know if this plan would work, you know, but um this is what I want. I, 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 for the life of me, I can't understand. The Nishkartiko set was looking to close out the innings. The men they had five players in the circle there and, and, and nobody covering on the boundary. Put the ball way outside the man half so man just went on to it under it, lift it over the infield and the ball go for four. I that is what I saw. I don't know if there was any other blunders, but I was like, what on earth is this is, is going on here? And nobody was able to point it out and tell the man to stop the foolishness. Anyway, so that is how they, they got 190 for six. When the chase came on now, we lost wickets at regular interval. Nobody really settled. We saw what we usually see. A couple of man, um, players come out, hit a four, hit a six. Looked, um, looked as if they were going to carry on and nothing. Nothing, nothing. So we were... We, we were restricted for 122 um, for 8 of the 20 overs. 122 for 8. Kyle Mears started off getting 2 boundaries, um, 2 fours and a 6, getting 18, um, yeah, uh, 15. 15. Shamar Brooks got 20 of 15. Jason Hola, 0 from 4. That is another move. I have no idea why they did that. You understand? Especially when, when, when they would have seen how effective um, Akil Hussein, oh, 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 oh. Oh, um, when, when India were batting, you know, they, they, they saw how Akil Hussein was able to, to do his thing. And, and yet, yet still a sent in Jason. I, I, I can't understand these people. I, I, <laughs> I can't understand in all honesty. I, I, I was thinking that Puran would have come at three to basically come and take responsibility. And Jason Ola soaked up four ball and didn't score. Nicholas Puran came, looked as if he was going to settle and bat. Had a couple of nice looking shots. You understand, had a 6 and a 4, went for 18 or 15. Ravman Poel, 14 from 17. Um, Shimran Hitmeyer, 14 from 15. 1, 6 and 1, 4. I saw the 4 and I saw the 6. And, you know, then I left and apparently didn't do anything much after that. He was, he was, um, he was caught. Akil Hussein, 11 from 15. Odin Smith, 0 from 2. So bowling 2 up, playing. Odin Smith playing, bowl 2 overs. No, um, only 2 overs. Don't do anything much with the ball and come and don't make any runs. I, I don't see any sense. Kimo Paul tried 19 from 22, not out. Right? Alza, um, Alzari Joseph, he was 5 from 11. So, there you have it again. Soaking up a lot of deliveries and not really scoring as freely as we should. Now, in terms of the wickets, um, Bishone, he had 2 wickets. Reven, uh, Ashwin had 2 wickets. And we have Ashdeep Singh with 2 and... Kumar with one so that is how it went my viewers and subscribers we were bamboozled and turned over by India and um, you know I can only give you the scorecard my viewers and subscribers as I said I am open to listening the comment I'm um, to reading the comments uh, to hear what you guys have to say you know once you watch the game I might not be able to reply to everything but I'm going to take a look at the comment section to see exactly where we went wrong. Because at the end of the day, my, my peeps, we can't, we can't work like that, man. We can't work like that. You know, uh, it's the same thing. It's either boundary, a six or, 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 or out. You know, um, I, I don't know. I don't know. The, the, bowling, the bowling really let us off, in the, let us down in the, in the latter part there. You understand? What should have been a, a target? Maybe it would probably still would have been out of our reach. But what should have been a target of maybe 170, 175 ended up into 190. And that definitely was out of our reach. Seeing that we don't necessarily have players that are going to settle down and, 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 and bat. You know, I, I can understand some of, the, some of the, the, the tactics that was on display today. But the guys that were expected to score the blunt of runs, um, it just didn't come off of them. Nicholas Puran. Uh, the last five T20 innings that he had, it, you know, is in good form. Didn't work for him today. Shemran Hitzmeyer coming back in the team to score runs. Didn't work for him today. Um, Kyle Mayers, Shamar Brooks, you know, Ravman Poyle. All the guys that, ex that, that we expect to score runs, it didn't work out. So we ended up short 122 for 8. But that is basically how it went, my peeps. Can't give you much more insight than that. So, you know, just let me know in the comment section what you all... Uh, think about the game, what are the changes, what do we need to do as we go further. Not saying it would have worked, but I, I, 
I would have gone for um I wouldn't have had Jason Hola batting that early. I don't know what the reasoning behind it was. As I said, I didn't watch every delivery that was bowled. So maybe there was something that they spotted and and thought it would have been a good idea. Same thing with the field setting in the in the penalty met over when they had all the players in the in the circle and bowling wide outside the half stump. <laughs> I, maybe I, I I do understand. So one of you guys can let me know exactly what was going on, but. We're going to leave you right there for now, my peeps. Big up on yourselves, eh?